Hi everybody, this is Source Audio, and this is a video tutorial for the Neuro app. And today we are using it with the Vertigo Tremolo. We'll be using the sound editor to make some changes to our sounds and also to create some new sounds from scratch. So when using the Neuro app, the first step is to connect your phone or tablet to the effects pedal using the included cable. So this cable makes a connection between the headphone jack of your mobile device and the second input on the effects pedal. So that second input is actually used for two different things. It is the stereo audio input to the pedal, but it also can carry neuro data from the phone uh, to the pedal, which allows you to access some parameters that are hidden underneath the hood. So we'll start with that connection. Connect the cable from the headphone output of the mobile device and connect the other end of the cable to input two on the pedal. Once you've done that, open the Neuro app. And the first thing you will see in the Neuro app is a selection of different products that are supported by the Neuro app. So you need to select the proper product that matches what you're using. In this case, I'm using the Vertigo Tremolo. So here it is on the screen. I'll just select that from the list. And now we are in the Vertigo Tremolo editor. And there are three options here. Sound editor, which allows you to make changes to the sounds or create your own sounds from scratch. There's browse sounds, which lets you uh, load presets which either you have saved or presets from the factory library or even presets that other users have created. And then hardware options. That lets you change some of the basic ways that your effects pedal will work. In this case I'm going to use the sound editor just to make some changes to the way the Vertigo sounds. Now before I make any changes in the app I'll just start by getting a basic nice sounding tremolo sound uh, from the Vertigo using its knobs and its effects switch. So I think I'd like to hear a nice harmonic trem and that's the center selection on the effect selector switch. So I'll switch over to harmonic tremolo and now I'll just use the uh, the four control knobs to create a sound that I like. <laughs> So that's a great starting point, and using just the four knobs and the effect selector, you can come up with a really wide range of sounds on the Vertigo Tremolo. But if you want to go even more in depth, that's what the Neuro app is for. So as I look at the Neuro app, I see all of the different parameters that exist inside the Vertigo Tremolo. And these basic ones that show up when you just open the sound editor are matching what you actually see on the hardware itself. So I have the effect type, which is corresponding to the effect switch in the middle. And then I have depth, speed, shape, and level. And you can see those match the four knobs that we have on the hardware. But if I scroll down, I'll start to see some additional parameters that are only available through the software. So I'll just go down to the bottom here. And as I get further down the list, you can see that there are different EQ bands. I could, uh, for example, boost the bass or cut the trebles or uh, maybe bring in some low mids. And this is a four band parametric EQ, which is available in every single one series pedal. And it's accessible in the Neuro app. So I like the sound that I had before, but I think I'd like to give it a little bit of bass boost. So what I do is I go to the proper parameter on the list, my base level, and I'm just going to bring that up. 
And as the phone sends information to the vertigo, you can see this light on the top will blink. And that's just an activity indicator and it's showing that data is being sent. <laughs> So you might have noticed, the Neuro app kind of works like a remote control. The only parameter that changed was the parameter that I modified, the base level. I haven't made changes to any of these other parameters and so none of them changed. So if I'm happy with this change, I can actually save that right into the hardware. And that means anytime I use the harmonic tremolo in the future, it will have this bass boost that I made. So in order to do that, I will click this burn button at the bottom of the screen. In the burn menu, I have four options, and these are the locations in the memory of the vertigo where I can save this change. So as you can see, I have toggle switch left, toggle switch middle, and toggle switch right, and those correspond to the three positions of the center effect selector. And lastly, I have preset mode memory. Uh, all of the 1 Series pedals have one user preset, which, which can be recalled at any time by pressing and holding the foot switch until this center LED turns red. So in this case, I'd just like to save this change to the harmonic tremolo sound. And the harmonic tremolo sound is the center position on the toggle switch. So I will click toggle switch middle, and now it's saved. So now anytime I recall that harmonic tremolo sound, at any time, it will always have that bass boost that I saved into the pedal. Mm -hmm.